Good afternoon. So first of all, before I start, there are two quick questions. How many of you have lived in more than one city in your life? That's about 80%, I would say. Now, how many of you work in a team that has people in more than one city, in a distributed team? About the same. So, so what I want to tell you today uh, is three things. First of all, that you're normal. Uh, it is this, this sort of a behavior of switching from place to place and working in, with other people who are not in the same room with you is becoming increasingly normal. And I'm happy to look into why we think that is. Um, and that uh, also what, what we've found out about the behaviors of the people living the lives like you do, and also what we're doing about that lifestyle at Teleport. As several speakers already today have mentioned that, uh, that there is this weird thing that the modern work can be done from anywhere. And why that trend is important, and it's not a surprise for anybody in this room, is that if modern work can be done anywhere, your income has become location independent. So basically, you can stay in Helsinki, you can move to Tallinn, you can be in Cape Town, you can have clients all over the world, you can build somebody who is in the other corner of the world, you can build a small business, have clients, uh, you can sell your hours, and really, it doesn't really matter where you are, but you can do your work. Given that location independence, one trend that we're seeing is that knowledge workers are making choices of where they want to do their work, because it's independent of the location, for a vast number of reasons. And we've been researching and surveying and discussing with many of them, and this is just a small subset of them. A typical startup person, probably anywhere in this crowd, contemplating should they continue building their company in Helsinki or move to London or Silicon Valley, is they are trying to bootstrap their business. They are trying to extend the runway. They are looking for the cost side of things. Then there are other entrepreneurs who have figured that it's really, really hard to hire in the place where they're at. So they are trying to figure out where they should go to hire. There are those who are already in a distributed team, like most of you, and then they are trying to get to FaceTime with their team. And that might mean either co-locating with people or finding places where it's easier to commute to, from place to place. There are places to go to raise funding. There are places to go to meet your clients, because they're all over, right? Uh, there are places to go to reduce your commute and escape the tax burden of certain places and maybe go to another regular environment, which is better. My, my favorite example is that, that Silicon Valley might be the haven for all kinds of startups, but if you're building a company that deals with Bitcoin and drones, uh, let me tell you, Mountain View is not the place you want to place that. In. The other thing that we're seeing is that while people are making those decisions and figuring, trying to figure out where they should be, the sad thing is that there is no such thing as a single perfect place for anyone. Five years ago, and I spent about 20% of my, my career um, in uh, Silicon Valley now, five years ago, when I was talking to European entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, the question was very much about, should I move to San Francisco or not? It was binary. It was one to zero. Uh, today, when we talk to teleport users who are making through these sort of uh, distinctions, they're actually asking a very different question. How much time should I spend there? Is, is two weeks a quarter right for me? Is two months a year right for me? We're hearing way less the actual binary question of should I move? So it's more about splitting your time in reasonable uh, quantities. So basically, the underlying questions of all those trends and the resulting situation is that we see way more people and an increasing amount of people who are pondering, how can I move to my best place to live and work? And I've underlined two parts of that. There is the moving bit that you're actually changing your location, but there is also the your best place bit, which is the what is the best place for it. And so this is what we're building at Teleport, and this is what this company is about. Um, to add to this, we're a rough survey of 80% of you working in distributed teams. We did a little experiment. Uh, I put up a Google spreadsheet, uh, tweeted about it, and said that, hey, distributed teams, can you just come and sign up here, please? Uh, and in a few months, we had uh, this screenshot was made, I think, on Monday. So we had 162 teams sp split up. And what's interesting about that is that that means that between these 160 startup teams, we're seeing about 6,000 people who are working in distributed environments. And the number that I wanted to get out of that is that a typical team that we're seeing, a remote working team, is 11 people as a median uh, split in four cities. Roughly 10 people for cities. This is how people operate because different people have different criteria where they want to be. This is our own team at Teleport. I'm Estonian, uh, born and raised there. Uh, in my adult life, I've lived in Tallinn, Singapore, London, Palo Alto. And uh, between these four countries, when I look at my team now, um, 
we have a few people in Estonia, we have somebody in Munich, Germany, we have someone in Paris, we have somebody in Cambridge, we have two people in Canada, and at the moment, even though we're funded in Silicon Valley and sort of born in Silicon Valley, we have nobody really permanently hanging out there besides one co-founder. Uh, as you can see, the, our German guy on Monday happened to be in New Zealand, and then we have an intern who is in Medellin, Colombia, because he just uh, felt like that. So we built a little tool. So getting into what we actually do to solve those problems, the teleport. And this, the teleport, uh, the map that you saw on the previous slide, actually is a live map. So, so when I want to know where my team is, I actually go to teleport.org about page, and we've just published it. And so I can see where they are, and there is a back end of that tool where I can actually see where is the time zone. And if I feel like talking to a few of those people, I can just uh, drag the dial and see, is that a good time? Uh, or is it going to be 3 AM for somebody on the team? One thing that we've learned that working in distributed teams is that when you work in a distributed manner, you actually start missing the human part or this sort of contact with each other. So besides hanging out in flip chats, as we do every day long, uh, you actually want to get together sometimes. So we built, built this little tool, uh, which we call Teleport Flock. You tell us which, in which cities your people are, and we'll do a two-second calculation based on the existing flight routes, the cost of tickets, the Airbnb availability, because maybe you want a place with six bedrooms that actually looks cool, and tell you where you should meet. So in this particular example, uh, our team should get together in Helsinki because the cumulative flight time for that meeting is 54 hours. All but two people get the direct flight, and we're going to be spending $7,800 for that team meeting. This little task right there is a typical office manager is calling that a 27 browser tab problem. And this is something that takes you a few weeks because everybody keeps changing their location and all these things. So we, we figured that there has to be an easy way. And, and I'm proud to say that uh, we just won a very prestigious international award uh, for, for sort of the simplicity of this tool, uh, the WSA Innovation Award. And actually, frankly, this was a weekend hack. Like, this is just something where you can, if you put, start, put your mind to solving these sort of location problems, uh, then this is the kind of stuff that you can automate and make so much easier for people. And the reason why all of that is, has been so easy for us, these sort of specialized user interfaces to do interesting location-based things, is this product. And that's our core product today. We call it Teleport Cities, and, and you can go online, and, and it's available on uh, iOS, Android, and, and as a web search. And basically, what we do is that we scan the quality and cost and quality of life data about the planet from one side. And on the other side, we built this very easy and simple and pleasant explorative UI where you can tell us what are the things you're looking for. Are you looking for a place to find a great job? Are you looking for a place to establish a new company? Are you looking for a place where to hire a team of designers or software developers? And taking all of those inputs, plus all of your more subjective and soft things like maybe you're a snowboarder, or maybe you care for the San Francisco-like weather but don't care for that cost, and all these other things. And we pull it together and match it across 160 different dimensions of, of data in 110 cities today, and we're growing on both axes as well, uh, so that to find you the perfect place for whatever you need to accomplish in the world. Right now, uh, this tool has about, we, we, we just recently hit about the first 10,000 people uh, over the last few months where we've had this product out in public. And we're seeing more and more people working in distributed teams flocking to this, this toolkit just to make their everyday life easier. I'm personally extremely happy to be part of a company and to build something that helps to change the world to be a more, more fluid marketplace where people are moving around. I spent the last eight years at Skype, and many of my colleagues in Teleport team did as well. And in a way, at Skype, we were making the world smaller in a more metaphorical sense. So I think now it's the time to actually move some people around and, and make it really happen. And sort of the long game for us all is that we want to create a world where every single government is competing for every single citizen. Every single government will be competing for every single citizen just because everybody on the planet will be picking their best places to do whatever they want to do at any given time. Thank you.